How then would you respond to people's critique of your view on gay issues, for example, mostly affiliated with the stance of your church? Because that's obviously something that's very strongly entrenched in the Constitution. It is strongly entrenched in our Constitution. It's something that I've always fought for. I've fought for the defense of, of gay rights. I've upheld them. The real issue here is that what we mustn't do is assume that if someone wants to hold a different view, someone wants to say from their own biblical religious rights that they're entitled to believe that that maybe is not consistent with their beliefs. They're entitled to have that. Surely the Constitution doesn't, the Constitution guarantees the right for people to have their own views. So if our church or wants to take a stance, they're entitled to do that. It's the fundamentals of the law. But in this particular instance, when I took the oath in Parliament, I said I take oath to defend the Constitution. In the Constitution are rights enshrined for gay South Africans, and I've always upheld that, will continue to uphold it, because I think it's upheld in the Constitution and must be, and must be upheld. It's not a debate. Mm -hmm. So when people try to create this impression, I think it was a misnomer, because in the same way, give you another parallel example, Chief Justice Mokweng Mokweng goes to a church that may hold particular views. Today, he's sitting in the Constitutional Court. He's not there to defend his church. He's there to defend the Constitution of the Republic. That's the job of anybody. If you are sent to presidency, your first duty is to say, I'm here to defend the Constitution, the oath of office that I've taken. That's your fight. 